Introducing the all new Corolla. Since the formal announcement of their candidacy back in June, the guitarist Kumatautau team has been running a relatively low key campaign, concentrating on pocket meetings in the villages and not making many public pronouncements. Lieutenant Gubernatorial Candidate Gary Gumatautau describes the campaign as a grassroots one. Right now, we can't afford to put the word out to mass media because we just can't afford the advertising expense. The other side is supposedly spent over a million dollars. Okay, we've only spent about $55,000. It shows you how much work we've got in order to get out there and get the word out. But we're doing it. We're doing it with, we have an app for the telephone for the cell phone, we have, we're using uh, social media, we're out in the pocket meetings, our pocket meetings are growing, it's all grassroots. However, Guma Tautau believes that the funding shortage should not be viewed as a measure of popularity, but a measure of a government out of balance. What does that disparity in fundraising tell you? Well, it tells you a lot about who's in control and what they're doing. Okay, people that, that, that have these contracts, people doing business with the government that are favored, they can afford to put the money out. We're talking about millions of dollars. It's one of the points in the seven-point plan issued by the campaign yesterday to regain control of public finances. We've heard it many times. Guterres got us into this mess. We cleaned it up. They've not cleaned anything up. They've got us further in debt. Okay, We have to pay more interest. We've got more trouble with this thing. The bottom line is they didn't deliver. We're going to deliver, and here's how we're going to do it. No big secret here. What we're going to do is use tax policy to change the game. We're tired of seeing people leaning on the business community. Tax them, tax them, tax them. It's killing them. Another key point, restoring the Dave Santos Act's original exemption back to no payment of privilege taxes on the first 50000 of gross earnings. We could achieve the same kind of goal by simply saying, okay, the first $50,000 of taxable income for your business would be rebated, or you simply wouldn't pay the tax. It depends on what we have to do with the language under the law because we don't want to delink from the federal system. So we have to stay within the, the, the band that we're allowed to do with that. And that would put the tax burden more on who? Tell me who. Who do you think? Those that can afford to pay. That's right. It's going to be consumption based. If you can afford that $90,000 car, you're going to pay the tax on it. And in the days ahead, following this weekend's primary, Guma Tautau predicts the tide will turn. I think there's going to be a groundswell of support at the people level. When you talk to people, there's a lot of buzz right now. People are, are supporting us. They're giving us a lot of ideas on things to work with. We've got people from the business community coming to us. We've got people that are Republican coming to us. You know, there are a lot of disaffected Republicans. This administration has done a lot to anger a lot of people. And so there are a lot of people that are Democrats and support us because we're Democrats. There are a lot of ABCs out there, too. Anybody but Calvo. And I think if you, you put the two together, we've got a winning combination. Kevin Kerrigan, PNC News.